Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'll be posting regular videos discussing faith, fashion, trending topics, and just some words of encouragement. I'm your host, Kyle Murphy, and this is Fits and Faith. Well, hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Fits and Faith. And uh, I know it's been a couple weeks here, um, but as you know, life kind of gets crazy. Things going on, you know, with work and, and the family and different things. Um, but I appreciate those of you who have continued to show your support and uh, reach out to me and, uh, you know, ask when when's the next episode coming out. And, <laughs> you know, the Lord's still working. The Lord's still laying messages on my heart and giving me encouraging things to relay to everyone. Um, but as you know, things happen, life happens. So uh, I apologize for the delay, but here we are. I believe this is episode number 15. And I got a good applicable little devotional for you tonight. And then also, you know, we'll jump into some uh, fits as we normally do. And uh, we'll keep things copacetic, <laughs> as they say. And I just want to thank you all for um, your prayers and continued support for the channel. And uh, I appreciate, you know, the prayers for our family. Um, as many of you know, my dad had his gallbladder uh, removed a couple, a few weeks ago. And uh, his recovery has been doing great. He's <clears throat> gotten a lot of strength back. And uh, soon, Lord willing, he'll be back on the road uh, preaching the gospel like he normally does. And uh, we thank Thank the Lord for that. He continues to bless and he continues to answer prayer. And uh, we're, we are truly grateful. <clears throat> so I think first we'll hop into, actually I'll tell you a little bit, a little story from last week um, that kind of coincides with the devotional for this evening. And then we'll hop into some, some fits. Um, but so the story, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell from this far away, um, but I do have seven stitches in, above my left eye and um, No, my girlfriend did not beat me up as a lot of you have um, You know been joking around about even though she's full she would be fully in the right to do so well within her rights um, Not that I don't antagonize her and ask for it a lot of the times, but that was not the case uh, we were ice skating and um, you know Sometimes things happen and uh, kind of uh, lost an edge and, you know, my balance from my illness isn't, uh, you know, back to normal. I don't think it ever, ever will be, but um, I kind of turned around and, and my ankle kind of buckled over and I just face planted right into the ice. And, you know, being 6'5", that's a long way down. And so I got up. And kind of dazed, you know, kind of like when I was competing in boxing, I thought, man, I kind of got my bell rung there a little bit, you know, like you get caught in uh, a, a boxing, sparring, and it kind of stuns you a little bit, see some stars, but, you know, a lot of times you can just kind of gather yourself and, and get back in there. And that's what I thought I was going to do. You know, I was thinking I'll get up here and limp off the ice and kind of, you know, take a take a break for a second and, and hop back out there um, until I kind of looked down and there was blood everywhere and and um, everyone that saw me was like they were you know saw a ghost you know and and so um, we went to the emergency room and got seven stitches in my head and um, God is good and so I actually get to get them taken out tomorrow and my body is doing a lot better. I was really sore for a few days after that, um, but uh, God is good. And you know, sometimes you got to learn the hard way. And um, but you know, it kind of knocked this little devotion into my head. Um, and that comes from Proverbs, Proverbs twenty four, verse sixteen. And you know, we all we all know this verse. We're all familiar with this verse. But hey. I thought, what better time than this to talk about this one? Um, it says, for a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. And so, 
That's a great verse. For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. That, that verse packs a punch. And that was the same with me, you know, ice skating. I thought, you know, I fell down, took a hard fall, but I was ready to get back up. And uh, But sometimes we get sidelined for a little bit. Um, just like in my illness, you know, God kind of got me off my feet for about a year. And, you know, I was on the sideline. You know, I had fallen. But uh, praise the Lord that uh, he allows us to get back up again. And that's so applicable, you know, to, to any walk of life, to Christianity, to you know, your job, your whatever relationships, <clears throat> whatever you're going through, we're going to fall. No matter how big and bad you are, no matter how smart you are, um, we're going to fall time and time and time again. And um, nothing impresses me more than someone who gets back up. Um, you know, like in boxing, sparring, you know, some guy will be a little bit out of his weight class. He'll be in there and with a bigger guy who's got a lot more fights under his belt, a lot more experience, and he gets knocked down, but he gets back up. He gets knocked down, but he gets back up. You know, he doesn't bow out. He doesn't throw in the towel. He doesn't climb through the ropes and, and uh, quit. He gets back up. He keeps fighting. And uh, that that's a strong message, you know, and it's so applicable to whatever we're going through. Sometimes, you know, we get knocked down, even in our Christian life. Uh, struggle with something and, you know, fall back into it. But by the grace of God and by his mercy, he allows us to have another opportunity to try to right our wrong and try to overcome those things. And uh, I pray for strength every day. You know, physically um, and spiritually, mentally, give me strength, Lord. It talks many times in the Bible, it talks about how, you know, he'll give you strength if you ask for it. Um, so I know a lot of people out there have fallen down in no matter what aspect of life it may be, you're down right now, you know, and you've got that white towel in, in your hand, you're ready to throw it, you're ready to give up, but... I'm telling you, get back up, and uh, you'll be you'll be better for it. You'll learn a lot. You'll grow. You'll be stronger. You'll have more uh, wisdom and experience, and and you may be able to help someone in the future who has fallen. And maybe you know God will lead you to someone who is going through the same thing you went through, and you'll be able to help pull them up out of that. And <clears throat> it's such a rewarding thing when uh, God allows us to help others through the struggles that we've been through. Um, so I'm going to kind of keep it brief tonight. Um, so that's the devotion. And we'll hop into some fits. Um, so I got a couple new pickups that I got. Um, so we'll go through those. Some cool, like, you know, essential staple items in the wardrobe um, that I've been, really been enjoying, especially for this time of year. So we'll hop into a few of those, and then um, the Lord has laid it on my heart to include a photo of right after I fell. That was one of the first thing uh, I looked over at my girlfriend, blood pouring down the face. I'm like, be sure to take a picture. <laughs> so, you know, you got to have proof. Um, so I'll, I'll show you that. We'll talk about that. And uh, I pray that that message was a blessing to you. Um, and just, you know, remember everyone falls, um, but it's like, it's like, uh, Rocky Balboa said, um, it's, it's not about how hard you can, uh, hit, but it's about how hard you can get hit and keep, um, and keep going, I believe is the quote. And uh, I love that quote. I love Rocky. Um, and I love that verse, Proverbs 24, 16. All right. I promise it won't be as long between the episodes. We'll get back on next week and shoot another one for you. Um, I pray that was a blessing. Um, continue to share these videos. Continue to like them. The more um, the more the videos are liked, the more that they're uh, shared and spread so that more people can see them. Um, so thank you all for your support. And uh, pray for me as I get my stitches out tomorrow. And uh, I pray that was a blessing. Love you guys. 
Um, keep, keep me in your prayers. I'll keep praying for you. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Peace. All right. First up, coming out of the gate hot, we got that Zara Essential uh, Puffer Vest. Um, I had kind of been looking for one of those for a while. Uh, kind of one of those like statement pieces that really uh, put the fit together. Um, just, just a solid fit going on right there. Of course, got the cold brew in the hand. Um, next up, um, we got the plaid pants that I copped at PacSun, I believe. And then the Urban Outfitter uh, fuzzy jacket with the turtleneck underneath. Um, just kind of a classy, you know, Sunday vibe uh, fit there. Um, really like that fit. Next up, and here's the piece de resistance. This is 10 seconds after that face plant. If you look close, you can kind of see the eyebrow is way higher than it's supposed to be. Crying some blood right there, blood tears, um, just kind of comprehending what happened. And then um, there we are about four or five days later, all stitched up. Um, Eye of the Tiger, and uh, yeah, on the mend. Got the baseball lacing in the face there. All right, catch you on the next one.